States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. all right. and welcome. This is the 15th meeting of the Board of Public Affairs. It's a special board meeting and it's to discuss resolution number 12, the um, power cost or power supply cost adjustment applicable to the utilities electric rate schedules. This resolution authorizes Bryan Municipal Utilities to keep the current power supply cost adjustment, also known as the called the PSCA, applicable to the utilities electric rate schedules at 0 0.0279 cents per kilowatt hour pending Board of Public Affairs action on proposed new electric utility rate schedules and declaring an emergency. And we have Kevin Maynard um, on the phone uh, to further discuss and explain what this resolution entails. Hello, Kevin. Thank you. Uh, can you hear me all right, Bill? Yes. Okay. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for uh, getting together on such short notice. Um, the reason that uh, uh, Action couldn't wait until the next regular uh, board meeting is that the uh, billing cycles begin on the uh, 20th of each month, and in order to be able to either uh, uh, allow the, the projected uh, PSDA to take effect or to keep it at the current level, we need to make a determination on that prior to the, the uh, 20th of the month. And we took a look at the language uh, that's contained in the rate schedule. It doesn't give administration uh, the ability to deviate from that. And so that's why we're, we're bringing it to your attention for your uh, consideration this afternoon. Uh, but uh, as far as what we're trying to accomplish here, uh, the utility is, you know, is in the middle of an electric uh, pump service and rate study. Uh, we believe that we will be bringing the results back to you in July for your consideration. And as part of that, uh, there's been discussion about rolling all or uh, part of the power supply cost adjustment into the rate and uh, reducing the level of the uh, PSDA. And uh, so uh, to do that, um, so it will be coming up pretty soon. And our concern was that uh, if we increase the uh, PSDA, which the calculation would take it from its current level of 2.79 cents per kilowatt hour to 3.13 cents with bills that would be rendered on and after uh, June the 20th of this month, uh, if we uh, don't take some action, that's what the direction that will go. I know that there's been concern expressed by some of our customers regarding the size of the PSDA and uh, it would be increasing from its current level uh, of 2.79 cents to approximately 3.13 cents without other action. Since we're so close to uh, um, making a recommendation on the rate schedules and reducing that PSDA uh, in the future rate, we thought it might be less of a financial impact for our customers to go ahead and, uh, and keep it where it's at so there'd be a change in the uh, bills that will be going out June 20th, beginning June 20th, and then also beginning July 20th. So we would expect that the new rates and the new PSDA then, uh, which could be substantially less, if not zero, uh, would be going into effect on or about August 20th, if approved by the, the board. Does that make sense? Yes, it does, yes, Kevin. Yes, it does, yeah. Kevin. Yes, we're okay. all in I'd be glad to try to answer any questions. Oh, the other piece that I, was, I, I failed to mention was that we will track any difference between uh, the power supply costs that would have been collected with the 3.13 cents and the 2.79, and then whatever it would be projected be beginning in the July bills as well. And then uh, once we get the new rates implemented, then we'll bring that back to the board uh, for your consideration of how you'd like to deal with that if there are differences in the power supply cost 
that we collected by uh, freezing that CSPA at 2.79 and whatever it would have otherwise been calculated at for July and August. So in essence, this does save the customers um, a little less than half a cent or about half a cent for that month period of time. Is that correct? That is correct. Be just under that for uh, the bill going out uh, with the uh, beginning of the uh, billing cycle on uh, June 20th, next Tuesday. And that's a half cent per kilowatt hour. That's correct. Kilowatt hour. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I don't <laughs> think the customers would have any disagreement on that. Anything safe. <laughs> be economical that way and it makes sense that we don't have to take any action two months in a row as well correct yeah I think the other concern is of course we're getting into air conditioning season here so uh, customers will typically use more during the summer months and uh, by avoiding uh, increasing the PSBA on the bill for the next couple of months that will provide a little bit of relief while we try to get the new rates uh, put together and brought to you for your action so Kevin, you, you, could you speak to the schedule of how you know, we need to be, I guess, uh, diligent in getting this done, looking at the new rate schedule and applying it? Um, I know that we've talked about rate neutrality or revenue neutrality, not rate, but revenue neutrality and the, the rate increase. They have not increased uh, since 2008, but that obviously we've been compensating that with the PSCA calculations. So, but I think if we gave the, the public at some sort of a window or what it looks like going forward so that when the new rates would apply, I think that would be helpful. Sure. Uh, what we believe by uh, talking with uh, utility financial solutions, the uh, rate consultants that we're working with, their plan is to get us uh, some drafts for your consideration uh, on the uh, blocky fifth regular or public affairs meeting. And uh, then that will allow a couple of weeks uh, before the next uh, board meeting on July 18th for public comment as well as for the board to consider the options that are presented uh, and if everything is in order at that point we would uh, ask for adoption of those rates on July 18th they would become effective with bills rendered on and after August 20th. Okay I think that gives everybody a timeline uh, between June 20th and August 20th knowing that the PSCA would be frozen and then the new rates would apply in the August billing. Correct. I think it's questions? a good I think it's a good good action. I would support it. I would too. Yeah, I would also. And uh, I'll entertain I will, a I will move that we accept resolution twelve. Number twelve. Sorry. Bill? Yes. Tom? Yes. Karen? Yes. Jim? Yes. Hey, thank you. If you have any other questions, I'd be glad to try to answer them for you this afternoon. Thank you, Kevin. No, I just, uh, the sun's shining here in Brian, and the solar fuel, I'm sure, is generating power. So we're excited about that. <laughs> I'm sure, that's right. <laughs> so we're excited about that. Yeah. Is it sunny where you are? Well, I am uh, on my way to the airport right now. <laughs> So it is, but I'm uh, on my way to Cincinnati here. Okay. okay. Have a safe travels. Thank you, Kevin. Yes. Thank you, Kevin. Okay. Thank you. And I'll uh, share uh, the board's action with uh, uh, Mr. Long when I see him today as well. Yeah, we, bring him up. we should probably explain to the public why you're not present and that you're attending the APPA National Conference in Orlando, Florida, and you're traveling there as we speak to the Cincinnati airport. That's why you couldn't be here today, but the urgency of this action needs to be taken, so that's why we're here. That's correct. Okay. Yes. Concludes the business for today. Can I uh, have a motion to adjourn the meeting, please? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Jim? Yes. Tom? Yes. Karen? Yes. Bill? Yes. Thank you. Meeting adjourned.